listen to today's top economic business and tech news. Today's topic uh, is uh, President Trump presenting a $4.8 billion budget cut. Now let's see what he wants to say. The proposal lowers non-defense spending by 5% to $590 billion, below the level of Congress and the President agreed to in a two-year budget deal last summer. The Democrat, Democrats signaled their opposition later Sunday to the administration's budget plan, which Representative John Yarmouth, chairman of the House Budget Committee, called destructive and irrational. President's budgets are a reflection of administration priorities, but in the end, they're just a list of suggestions, said Senator Mike Enzi, chairman of the Budget Committee. Budget analysis expect lawmakers to punt final decisions on 2021 spending until after the November presidential election and instead fund the government with temporary spending measures for the first few months of the fiscal year. Now, the plan would request $2 billion in new funding for construction of the wall on the southern U.S. border. The senior management official said Mr. Trump's signature 2016 campaign promised that sparked fights with Democrats, leading the president to a trigger a historic five-week government shutdown last winter after lawmakers refused to fund the project. Of that, it targets $2 trillion in savings from required spending programs, including $130 billion from changes to Medicare prescription drug pricing, $292 billion from safety net cuts such as work requirements for Medicaid and food and stamps, and $70 billion from tightening eligibility access to disability benefits. The budget plans assumes the $1.5 trillion tax cut package was put into law in 2017, set to expire by 2025, is extended, and projects revenue in line with last year's proposal. So now the administration expects year-over-year -year growth comparing total GDP for the year to be slightly lower in 2020 than it forecasted last year, the senior administration official said. The federal shortage of money would shrink to $966 billion next year, from about $1 trillion in 2020, but more than twice what Mr. Trump projected in his first budget proposal in 2017. The administration forecasts the 10-year Treasury yield, which reflects the cost of government borrowing to finance the shortage, will average 2% in 2020 and rise gradually over the next 10 years, well below the rates forecasted in last year's budget. The change reduces projected net interest costs by $600 billion over the next decade. Under, Mrs. Tr under Mr. Trump's plan, the budget of the Department of Veterans Affairs would rise 13% next year and the Department of Homeland Security is 3%. And the National Nuclear Security Administration's budget would get a 19% boost. Separately, the management has told Capitol Hill that it might reprogram $136 million in funds from fiscal year 2020 to address the virus, the administration official said, though no decision has been made on whether the money is needed.